Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So this evening I wanted to talk to you guys about um, acid reflux and cannabis. Someone recently left a message asking me if I have acid reflux. And it's in response to a video that I made quite a while ago. And the video took place outdoors. It was really, it really gave me some nostalgic feelings. But I wanted to talk to you guys more about that. And if I still have it and what do I do? And how cannabis helps with acid reflux. <clears throat> so... I'm drinking right now some turmeric tea. It's just turmeric in water, and it's very good. And turmeric is a really good uh, root. Um, so um, I've done videos about turmeric. So you can catch those videos on past videos that are up on this channel. So, mm. so what I have to smoke this evening is. <laughs> Okay, where did I put all my stuff? I already got it. I got a free roll joint that I rolled myself, and um, we're going to smoke it. I use Sugar Shake, and if you don't know what Sugar Shake is, if you grow cannabis plants, it's the little tiny buds at the bottom of the plant, the leaf, and stems. You put the stems over to the side to make stem tea. The leaves and the bud can be ground up to make uh, joints, and uh, you can use it to bake with and to cook with. So, yeah, I do all of the above with all of it. Use every single bit of it. Nothing goes to waste. So, thanks for joining me. It's like, it's past midnight. Uh, cheers. So, um... I used to eat a lot of cheese, and that's what gave me the most acid reflux. Um, eating really cheesy foods, cheesy meals, along with um, eating fried foods, that really gave me really bad acid reflux. Uh, really thick and rich foods can really, uh, really be bad on me, hard on my body. And at the time when I was eating that way, I wasn't getting enough exercise, so um, the food wasn't getting worked off enough, and I was having problems with uh, my throat, my esophagus. Then I got um, diagnosed as having GERD, which was gastroesophageal reflux disease. Um, what I noticed is that back then, when I, after I got diagnosed with it, what I noticed that is that once I started smoking more cannabis, is that I didn't have any of those, any symptoms related to that condition. I wasn't having acid reflux anymore when I would partake in cannabis on a regular basis, meaning every day and in the evening as well. So that seemed, it seemed to like soothe uh, whatever ailed me. The thing is though, even though I kept eating, you know, I started, kept eating uh, really cheesy rich foods and I was smoking cannabis at the same time. Cannabis was working hard to compensate for the foods that I'm eating that I know aren't good for my body. Um, I'm not telling people not to eat dairy foods or cheese. I'm just saying what works for one person's body what may not work for someone else's body. So um, I found that really helpful. Uh, cannabis has been really good um, for acid reflux and getting rid of... Uh, just eliminating those fried, as many fried foods. I got rid of the cheesy foods um, <clears throat> because that just clogs up my uh, my whole system, and it. I don't. I'm not getting a lot of vitamins and minerals out of those type of foods, and um, I started eating more of a diverse diet. I started to eat more towards vegetarian. I'm pescatarian. I think that's how you say pescatarian, where I do eat fish. That fish is the only meat I eat, and I do have eggs. But other than that, I don't have any other uh, animal products that I eat, partake of. 
because they just don't digest well in my body. They don't break down easily. And I'm sure a lot of people have experienced that. And that's why they decided to either cut down on the amount of meat that they eat or to cut it out altogether. So, yeah. Um, I found that really tremendously helpful for getting rid of acid reflux. Um, if I have a really, if I, when I was having really bad flare-ups back in the day, um, I would smoke a joint and then it would go away and I'd feel better. And I was also, but then, then back then I was also drinking soda. I had really gotten hooked on Pepsi. <laughs> so, um, but I, since long since have gotten over that addiction, I don't, I'm not addicted to that anymore. Because I don't drink stuff like that on the regular. The stuff that I drink regularly that's carbonated will be like carbonated water. So that's it at the most. So, um, But yeah, I try to stay away from stuff like that. And that really helps me a lot. Um, so yeah, um, I don't have acid reflux anymore. Because I've been trying to really be focused on what's going to help me in my body and what's not going to help me in my body. So I'm not nowhere perfect, but I feel like cannabis has helped me to make better choices. And specifically when it comes to what I put inside of my body, um, I think about what I eat, what I get ready to eat before I eat it more and more conscious of what I'm eating. And I'm taking my time to actually taste my food and let it digest uh, properly. And I just keep stuffing my face with more and more food and believe it or not, Cannabis has helped me with, uh, you know, having control over my appetite, knowing when to say when, you know what I mean? Um, certain foods can be very addictive depending on what they put onto the foods. So be aware of that and just make as conscious decisions as you can when it comes to what you put in your body. We're all doing the best we can. Um, and I am too, so... <laughs> But yeah, it's, yeah, that's about it. That's all I have to say about um, cannabis and acid reflux. I don't get acid reflux anymore because of that. I had gotten this ramp pillow that was given to me because I had to sleep a certain way. Um, I still sleep with uh, like a few pillows propped up, but that's not sp so much for, because of acid reflux. It's more so because of my shoulder, my uh, left shoulder that's kind of... Uh, I kind of injured it a little bit, but it'll be okay. But yeah, acid reflux, cannabis, it helps. But what really helps is getting to the root of the problem. Cannabis can only do so much, but if you are having acid reflux on a regular basis, you may want to look into why that is. Are you? What are you eating? Look at your diet. Maybe make a, a diary, a food diary, and record what you eat. Because a lot of people don't remember what they eat all day. You know, they may just eat something here and there, and then before you know it, you've eaten a whole bunch of stuff, stacked a whole bunch of stuff up that's going to really uh, wreak havoc on your, you know, your means of swallowing, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's uh, very important to be able to swallow things, especially if you eat or drink anything. Um, for the longest time, when I was having a problem with, uh, when I was... Diagnosed with acid re with um, GERD, I mean, uh, that's a it's just a severe form of acid reflux is what GERD is, and uh, when I was diagnosed with it, I noticed that swallowing things was not easy because I felt like I may have had like scar tissue in there, and it was confirmed through a doctor that I did have scar tissue there, and that's why it was hard for me to swallow, you know, certain things. So anyway, that's all I have to say about that for this evening. I hope this helped anybody out there that's suffering from acid reflux and wondering if cannabis can help. Don't just rely on cannabis. Look into your diet and see what it is that you're doing in your diet. Look at your stress level too because I remember when I'd have really big flare-ups of acid reflux of my GERD, I would, I would be stressing out big time. So find some things that you can do in your world that can help you to be more relaxed during the day. Um, for me, it's art and it's writing and, um, yeah, and getting out for a walk and stretching, doing yoga and meditation as well. So with that said, thank you for joining me this evening. Thank you for uh, the likes and shares. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for your kind comments. 
Leave your comments down below and let me know if you suffered from acid reflux or were diagnosed with GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, and your doctor um, gave you pills. I mean, that, that's what my doctor gave me, just gave me pills to help with it. I, you know, I took a long, long time ago, I took one of the pills for GERD, and I didn't like it. It made me sick, and I had a hard time swallowing the pill because the pill was kind of big, so... <laughs> Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me, um, brightest blessings to you all, and I will see you soon.